Hi everybody, this is a MadMapper for tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to stream your MadMapper mapping content into your favorite streaming service. So for this uh, you're gonna need uh, Windows because this tutorial is Windows only. You're gonna need uh, three applications. The first one is of course MadMapper. Uh, you will need this version for or three minimum. And you will also need uh, two other applications uh, which are uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, sorry, NVIDIA Broadcast is the first application you will need uh, to actually remove uh, the background of your video. So you can download it for free here, just hit the green little button. But remember to run this, you will need a RTX line of card minimum. Okay, so you can download this free. And the last application you are going to need is called Open Broadcaster Software, OBS Studio, running on Windows as well. Also free, you can download it there. And of course, I already downloaded them uh, myself, so it will be a fast tutorial. So first thing first, uh, after having launched ManMapper, maybe you can start uh, NVIDIA Broadcast. Select uh, your camera source, oops, select your camera over here. And you can see there, there is an option to actually remove the background. So I will uh, start it. Boom. Okay, this is me in the middle. And as you can see, the background has been removed. Go back into MadMapper. And there you can see NVIDIA Broadcast appears in the live input section of the media. So I put it there. And I will eventually align it with my projector. All right. I will call it myself. I will call it myself and now it's time to be creative and maybe add some background and start mapping it. So because I'm lazy, I just uh, snapshotted the uh, background, my own background, which is there. I put it here. Okay. Remove the perspective. And now I have two layers, uh, the background. Boom. And myself. All right. So it's been recomposited. Uh, in real time. So maybe now I will speed up this video because I want to do a little mapping over here on my background. So see you in the future. Okay, back to business. So I have this little background that is being mapped, a few masks, a few circles in and there. And this is myself with an effect on top of it, on top of the layer stack. So now I have this little mapping that actually I want to stream it to my favorite streaming service. So for this, I open up OBS Studio. It's there. So first thing first, I want to check the settings and select uh, the streaming service I want to stream to. This is Twitch. And here I can add my credentials to start uh, streaming. Okay. Then I'm going to need to select uh, some audio input. So I create a new, new audio input. I can select uh, whatever I want. It can be my sound card, sound coming out from Ableton Live, from the video mixer, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to select for now uh, the sound coming from my NVIDIA broadcast, with, which is the sound of my webcam. Okay, and I'm going to need uh, another uh, capture input, which will be uh, the video sent by MadMapper. So for this, if I go back to MadMapper, I go back in the projector output, I select my projector, and now I output a desktop window. Oops. Uh, it's there. This is my desktop window, projector one, preview. It's actually the same uh, as uh, shown in the output preview. So now if I go back to OBS Studio, I can create a new um, window capture. Easiest thing to do, Just click OK. And you can see here I can select my uh, video mapping MadMapper projector. Projector 1, preview, capture the cursor. No, I don't want to capture the cursor. OK. And now I'm good. I'm uh, ready to stream. So if I hit that uh, little start streaming button, I will just uh, stream directly to Twitch. OK. All right. Thanks for watching.